Hey guys, it's Jen from iCreate Crafts. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create these adorable Let It Snow ornaments using flat ornaments, some snow from the dollar store, and some vinyl. I will leave all of my supplies I used in the description below. Such an easy craft, so let's get started. Alright guys, so to make these ornaments, um, I'm starting with these ones that I have here, Let It Snow. Um, some of these I bought from Etsy, some I bought from Design Bundles, and then some of them were in Design Space themselves. I have the yearly subscription, so that's where I found them. I just went, oops, not upload, images. I went to images, and then I just typed in Let It Snow. And then I found some in here, and then like I said, I found some on Design Space and other places. Um, so you can do it this way, uh, like you can see these say uploaded, I have a lot that I uploaded and I purchased already. Um, some of them say subscribed, if you have the subscription you'll have this little A here, um, that just means that you get that included in your subscription, so you can find it that way. Well that one's kind of cute too now that I saw this one. Um, so I already did that, so I found these four or five that I have on here already, and there's only a few things that I'm going to do with this. I am very visual. I like to see what I'm doing and what it's going to look like. So for me, the ornament that I'm using is just a flat ornament, and I know it's about three by three. So I'm going to go up here actually and click shapes and get a circle, and I'm going to change a circle to be three by three. So it's just to visualize it. So here it is here. Uh, if you put it up in the corner here, you can see with the uh, ruler up top, three by three. So this is the size of my ornament, and I want to make my... Um, files a little bit smaller than that. I'm not sure if this guy's going to work out. We're going to see. Maybe I'll have to get rid of the snowflakes here because if you shrink it that much, there's no way you're going to be able to edit out or, or weed out those um, little pieces there. So to do that, I'm, I have it selected. I'm going to go up to ungroup up here and it's going to ungroup everything for me. So basically I just, whoops, try to see if I can find it on the side here. Here. So here it is here. I just want to get the, rid of those pieces. Actually, these ones right here, the snowflakes. So you can either um, click the little eye here and that will get rid of it, or you can go in and uh, delete it itself. So I'm just actually going to go in and delete it itself. I still think it looks cute. Maybe if I can, nope, I, was, I can't. I was going to say if I can undo, ungroup this, I can move that up a little bit, but you cannot. It's the way it is. So I'm just going to leave that. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to see what it looks like with getting rid of those. I like that by itself right there. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of this, and then I'm going to attach it because I want it to cut out as one whole piece. I'll just use like a white color or maybe even a light blue or like a holographic color, but I haven't figured it out yet. But we're going to see what this looks like. I have to shrink it enough to get into this circle here, so we will see what it looks like. So I just used the double arrows and I dragged it, but now I'm going to unlock it here and see how wide I can get this. I want to get the most out of it. I think that's about as far as I can go because my circle is uh, three by three, so I don't want to go over that. So this one is finished. I'm going to leave that one the way it is. This one, same thing. I'm not sure that these um, snowflakes are going to cut out very well. So I'm going to go up here to the ungroup button and do the same thing. You can always go back in and add your own if you want. Um, but maybe one right here since this worth is over or maybe we can move it. Here we go. Sometimes you are able to move words if they're not grouped together. And maybe I'll just put like a little um, star or something in here. So I'm going to go to the shapes and I'm going to see what they have. So there's a star up here. Here's a different star. I'm actually going to grab that one and see what it looks like. The fun part with this is you can design it any way you want. You can add, you can get rid of whatever you need. So we're just going to actually see how this looks. We'll add a star in here. And maybe we'll turn it just a little bit. Oh yeah, I like that much better. Even though it's not a snowflake, it's still kind of getting, you know, what you're saying out there. So I like that. But I can tell right now that this black is different color than this black. So two ways you can do that. You can either go up here and you can change the color or you can just select the whole thing like I'm going to and then push attach. 
And you know what, sometimes when the images are not together by themselves, I always push the weld button because sometimes your Cricut machine will know to, or it will actually cut out little lines here where it was supposed to be attached. So I always push the weld button just to make sure that that won't happen. I'm gonna do the same thing, just kind of put it in here, see if it's even gonna fit. Um, sometimes it's really difficult to cut out small wordings so we'll see how this looks and how big I can get it in here so that one looks okay so we'll see we'll print this one out too and see what it looks like and I'm just gonna show you one more I like these um, snowflakes but again they might not work so I'm just gonna shrink it up really quick put it in here and now it's behind it don't worry your image is still there it's behind it so you want to go to arrange send to front and there it is we're just going to shrink this just a little bit and those snowflakes should be just fine actually i'm a little worried about this one and with this file this came as is how you see it you can't ungroup it you can't detach it the only thing you can do is contour it so i'm going to click on that and see what we can do with that one little snowflake there but it does, he looks like he's, doesn't it look different? Doesn't it look, looks like you have a bunch of little pieces in here. It looks just the same. I'm going to leave that one. I thought that these were little um, pieces that you had to weed out, but they're not. So I'm actually going to leave that as well. And then um, I'm going to fast forward this. I'm just going to do these two really quick, and then I'll uh, show you the next step. All right. So a couple other things. It's going to be very hard to see this uh, just somewhere else. So I'm going to see if I can get rid of that. I'm actually going to make this a little bit larger so we can see. I do like it where it says just somewhere else, but I'm actually going to get rid of that. And this one will let me get rid of it. So I'm going to click the ungroup button up here and then see if this all comes together or how it is. Sometimes they'll attach it together. So there it is right there. I just want to get rid of this piece. So. I actually need to ungroup it one more time, and now it should give me just that piece. Now I just want to get rid of that one. And I'm going to move this back up to kind of where it was because I just touched it a second ago. There. And now I'm going to select all of it. Actually, I'm thinking I'm going to get rid of this guy too. It looks kind of funny all by itself. So ungroup it. I'm going to grab just that and get rid of it. He looked kind of weird there all by himself. So I'm going to select it all, and I'm going to go to weld again. Just because, like I said, the letters are touching each other, and if you just attach it, Cricut will think that that's two different pieces, so I always just weld it together. So I'm going to take my circle and then just kind of go in here again. Again, that's the fun part of this, is just kind of trying to create it and make it your own. It doesn't have to be, you know, just this, uh, the way it looks. You can always add to it if you want to. So these are finished. I believe I did them all. Did I not? Yes. Um... So the last thing, if you want to change the color on any of these, on any of these, you definitely can. Um, like I said, some of these, they're already welded together. Some of them um, you can't take apart. So like these ones, whichever one this one is, this one could be different colors. Like you do let it snow in white and then, or in like a bluish color. And then you could do the star, little stars and little dots, uh, like a bluish color or sorry, white. Um, but I'm actually going to leave them the way they are. Um, I think I'm going to change a few of them to like a blue color. So I just selected it, went up to the color box and I'm going to change it to blue. So then the whole thing will cut out blue. And I'm thinking maybe this one. So just select it go up to the color box and change it to blue and you can do it any color that you want it doesn't have to be what I'm doing it doesn't have to be what size I'm doing um, but I have like a really pretty uh, holographic blue color so I'm gonna use these two blue I'm gonna get rid of this and then I'm actually gonna change these last ones Oops, let's get the third one these last ones to white so I'm gonna select all three of them go up here and then find white but as I was doing this I did notice one thing another thing you want to look for is make sure that this is all grouped together so down here it, it has attach and weld you cannot click on those so that one's good to go this one we already welded so that's good same thing with this one you can't do anything else with it there was one here so if we do this one and we don't click weld or attach it's going to cut out separately I'll show you guys really quick what I mean. Sometimes people ask me, well, what does that mean? You didn't show it. So I'm going to show you really quick what that part is going to look like. So here it is. Let it snow. And it's going to cut out all of this separate. You don't want that. You don't want to go ahead and cut all these out and have to figure out where they go. So that's what I mean. So I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to go back. 
and I'm going to weld this one together. So this was the one. So I'm going to click weld and now it's going to put all these pieces how you see it basically. So now we're going to go back to make it and I'll show you what it looks like. So we'll have a blue mat and a white mat. Just like that. See it fixed it. So one thing I do is move this over just a little bit that I can get my scissors in between each one of these files. So here's the blue one and then that was the white one. I really love this guy, so I can't wait to weed him out and see what he looks like. And then I go to continue down here once you like it, the way it looks, and the colors that you want. You can click uh, continue. So what I like to use is this stencil vinyl here as my base material. And then I always, for some reason, it seems to cut better for me. I go to the more. One really important thing to remember is your blade. I didn't realize that my blade had stuff um, on the tip of it. So I actually replaced my blade with a brand new one and it cuts so much better. So if you're having an issue with your uh, blade not cutting correctly or your vinyl not cutting all the way through, check your blade. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. I will weed it out in these two different colors and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so I'm all set up here. I did a few of these to show you what they would look like. Here's the first one, the little snowman that I loved, Let It Snow, and I put some fake snow in here. I think it turned out really, really cute. Then I did this other one, uh, Let It Snow, but a different kind of font and different look to it, and then I put little snowballs inside of it. And you can fill this as much or as little as you want. These are the ornaments that I was using. I bought these from Michaels for 50% off. They're just little flat ones. You can buy these from the dollar store. You can buy them from Amazon, wherever you'd like. And I bought this stuff. Um, it's just fake snow from Michaels as well. I'm losing some here. Um, for $2.99, but I've got it on sale for half off. And then I also found at the dollar store these really cute little fake snowballs. I thought those were really cute to put in as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is clean off your ornament at the front really well. You don't want anything on it. And then while it's drying, you're going to want to use your, or put your vinyl on your transfer tape. So I'm going to let that sit for a minute. And excuse my mess behind me because I was working on these before I started the video to show you what they would look like. So I'm going to actually take this first file, just let it snow. It's just a pretty blue glitter color. So I'm just going to put my transfer tape on here. And then just rub it really well with my squeegee to make sure that it adheres to the transfer tape. Then what I like to do is flip my design, oops, it's stuck to my table, flip my design upside down and then I can see if everything is coming off. There are little tiny pieces on here that I'm going to make sure that stay on here. So I just flip it upside down and make sure everything comes off. Sorry about that guys, my camera battery actually died, so I finished putting this on the transfer tape and my ornament is dry now. So I'm just going to take it and put it on the center as best as I can. And if you have a circle, a full circle ornament, I would suggest putting slits in your transfer tape so it's easier to put down. But because this has a little bit, not too much of a curve to it, I'm just able to press it down with my fingers and make sure that every letter goes on uh, straight. But if you do have a circle one, I would just suggest putting a couple slits in it. So just like that. And then once you get it on, you just want to take your transfer tape off very slowly, making sure you don't peel up any of your vinyl. Perfect. Just like that. And then it's your decision what you want to fill it with. I don't really have much left of this. I got about three ornaments done with this fake snow. Um, I really love how this looks. Again, it's this one. It's got a really pretty fluorescent color to it. Um, so I'm just going to use some of these uh, fake snowballs here. Um, just be very careful because it is very, very messy. If you do have a funnel, I would highly suggest using a funnel here, but unfortunately I cannot find mine anywhere, so I will be making more of a mess. <laughs> you just want to open and end up, and if you don't have a funnel, I just kind of like clench my thumbs and my fingers together and kind of pour it in, and then just guesstimate how much you want to put in there. I do about half or a little bit more. But again, your station is going to get messy. So there, just like that. And then you just want to put the cover back on. And it's just like that, that easy to do. So here's the back where you can see all the little snowballs. And then there's the front. And I would not seal this. I would not do anything else with it. Uh, this is permanent vinyl, so this will stick forever. So I would highly suggest not putting anything on here. Plus you don't want to 
ruin the um, clear part of it either. So the last part I'm going to do is just put a ribbon or a bow on it and it's going to look like this. So I'm going to finish the rest of these up and I will show you what they all look like.